Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where or when you're watching this. It's just me, your friendly neighborhood deacon, Deacon G. And we made it through the weekend, or part of the weekend, or sort of the weekend. This is a really weird weekend, because a lot of places may be off today on Monday because of the 4th of July holiday on Tuesday. So they may be extending the weekend. So some of you may have that long weekend. Good for you. Hope you have a good long weekend if you do. Me, I gotta go into the office, take care of a few things, and then finish up, come back here. But I'm here for my Monday shave. And it's gonna be a, a good shave, I think. It's gonna be very good. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out a couple of new things. Uh, first thing we're going to be using from AA Shaving, my buddy Austin put this one out. It's called Gale. Ooh. I'm getting ready to go on a cruise next week, and I'm looking at waves and gale like this. Uh-huh. Okay. I have no fear. I'm not worried. And this has a really... I've taken a little bit of the soap out. That's the pour. This has a really... Nice. Just like Wapiti, it's got a lot of the same similarities, but there's some big differences in the notes. Let me grab my notes here. Ouch. That hurt. All right. It says here, uh, AA Shaving would like to introduce you to Gail. We're very excited for this release. Our introduction posts drew a picture of mental health and that's most important, and it is. I'll read you some of that in just a second. Gale opens with an aquatic storm, featuring notes of geosim, wet earth, which is that, that smell of the, uh, the grass and the earth after a rain. Then it's cologne, which is fresh water, violet, musk, minerals, and a sweet note of pink pepper. The scent quickly balances out as a fresh aromatic aqua scent with a hint of spice just as a spring summer storm or a storm in life the scent dries down a little calm and feel grounding with the aqua notes the violet and the wet earth prevailing the scent is relaxing but enlightening as is the light that comes at the end of the storm yep and you know we can all feel like we're stuck in a storm sometimes and sometimes the storm is dark and cold. This is coming from Austin, his introductory notes. A lot of times compound problems weigh us down. In these times, the good times fade and the dark, fade and fall and the darkness or seems too far to touch. Always remember there's a light. It may be difficult to see, but no matter how dark the situation may be, there's always a light. Yeah. Uh, Austin goes on, check, check him out on his Facebook page, uh, AA Shaving, his, uh, his thing, his soaps are very good. I like Wapiti, it's a lot of, fun. it's a, it's a good scent, it's got a lot of the, the same notes, like I said, um, this is a little bit different. Uh, the Violet comes through. The, the, pep, the pepper, it's got a little bit of a spice to it, and the geosim. Ah, I love that smell of fresh rain. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. And the one interesting thing from AA Shaving, they give you a guitar pick. Well, not everybody plays guitar, okay? I mean, I do, but, you know, that's beside the point. Uh, the reason they do this is for, to use as a scoop. Good idea, good marketing, but... If you happen to get a tub of this or Wapiti or any of the other offerings that uh, AA Shaving has and you get a blue guitar pick, ah, you get a free tub of soap. Keep an eye out for a blue guitar pick. I got a white one. I feel like Charlie Brown looking at the uh, trick or treat bag. I got a rock, I got a white one, but that's okay. Good so we're gonna finish with the matching splash. 
Oh, where did it go? There it is. Finish off from Barrett with Olympiad. It's got a nice scent to it. I'll put some of the notes in, in the uh, description. You can even smell it through the bottle. It's good stuff. Uh, I'm using my handmade kind of dessert bowl thing for don't ask questions. I'm going to use my Erskine brush that was just re knotted by Frank from Strike Gold. Great job on this. I've used it once before. What are we driving with today, Deacon? Ah, uh, something that just came in on it. I traded with someone for this. I've been looking for it for a while. This guy right here, the Parker variant. Very different design on the on the variant. It's an adjustable, just from the bottom. And it's a, a two-piece. Everything gets done from here. Loosen it up, take the top out. See this here? You can probably see it. There's two notches. You have to line those up when you put the cap back on to make sure that the adjustments are proper. Parker, in their introduction video, said to start at one for the first time you're using it. I think that's what I'm going to do because yesterday I used my another razor and I just have to take a look and see what I used. Oh, I used the Pearl Flexi, the original. And um, I have a brand new feather blade in there. Man, did I get a close shave on that. Well, I started it at three and a half, toned it down to two for the rest of the shave. It was good. Had a little operator error. You can probably see it right there. Operator error. My hand moved the wrong way. Eh, things happen. Anyway, um, took care of two of the three S's. It was splashed a little water on my face because, as you know, pro tip, hydration is, excuse me, is important. This being July 4th weekend, everybody's having a sale. Uh, the Razor Company, whom I'm an affiliate with, has a sale. I think Wet Shaving Store has a sale going on. Uh, Pastors is having one starting today. Vanulet is having one. Buy a soap, get five samples. But I'll tell you a little secret. If you look around Monica's website, you might find an Easter egg somewhere. Just, just saying. But check out everybody's links. They're listed down below. Get a little water on this brush. I know I didn't make a lot of it earlier. Sorry. And let's, let's lather this bad boy up. Where's my super, where's my super scoop? My sweater here. Yeah, it makes it a little, it's a little small on this. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a B flat. Need some more water. Between the brush and the soap, it's a little thirsty, but that's okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere.
think we got a good lather on this. Alright. So my Sunday was good. And my Saturday was pretty good. Got together with the family yesterday. The little pre Fourth of July sparklers and sparkly fountains and parachute guys and whatnot. Had some fun with that. I'm going to be posting a picture of the whole crew a little bit later. There we go. This has a really nice scent to it. It goes on nice and smooth. Just like the other one I got from, from Austin. Austin's a great guy. He's good, good to talk to. Well, so, that's okay. All right. Everything is taken care of. Two of the three S's. Let's do the third and start to shave, shall we? Let's test this bad boy out, see how we do. It's got a nice feel to it at one. It's, it's, it's got, the weight on this is 110 grams. And you know me, I like a DE with a little weight. And this has some weight to it, it feels good. This feels really nice. The soap has a nice glide to it, along with that great fresh rain scent. You know what? I forgot to do the test. Let's check it out. Nothing else on here? Nice. Passes the residual test. Got to be a little careful around here. Don't want to open that bad boy up again. I 
had to use some, not only my Nick stick, but I used a little liquid bandage on it just to make sure it sealed yesterday. Because that, that would have been disastrous having it open up a church, getting that all over my vestments. And that would not have been a pretty sight. I'm sure there would probably have been some older woman in the back would have seen that and said, Ah, oh, he's developed the stigmata. I'll explain that at another time. Or you can look it up. There's your theology lesson for the day. Look up stigmata. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. I think, though, I'm going to crank it up to two. There we go. Let's push it up to two. Get a little bit closer on the, on the side pass there. Get some leather. And yes, I know I've got some underneath my nose. It smells good. I like it. I think a scene, was it Robert from over at Hoffman? When he does his shave, he puts some of, some of whatever it is he's shaving with on his nose. On his nose, literally, like right there. Because he likes the way it smells. Well, I like the way this smells, and it's under my nose. I'm not going to steal Robert's shtick, so to speak. But I'm just going to leave that there. If it comes out, it comes out before the rinse. And you know what? That's fine with me. I think that tonight the city of Lockhart is having their fireworks, or the VFW is doing them. One of them is doing them tonight, one of them is doing them Tuesday. We got nights of fireworks all over the place. There is just a little bit of tab reveal on there, so you gotta be careful. This is a nice combination, I like it. Feels really nice. So you may have seen my my picture of the shave of the day yesterday. It had a tropical feel to it. And as I've said, I'm getting ready. I'm getting into my cruise mode for our anniversary cruise. Next week we celebrate 23 years of being married. Are putting up with me.
trying to be careful in that spot, especially since I, I cranked this up a little bit. Did I get it? No. I'm good. Let's see how we did on two. Oh, much better. Much. Wow. Nice. I'm not gonna crank it up for against the grain any more than two. I'm gonna leave it where it is. But we are gonna do it against the grain. And this does have still a great, great scent to it. That, that clean, fresh, watery rain. I like it. So I was talking about the cruise. Haven't decided totally what I'm going to be bringing with me as far as shaving goes. We're going to be on a, a car, carnival cruise and it's got our, our favorite bar, the Alchemy Bar. And you all know that the, the soap from uh, Vanille Bad Basil came from an idea that I, I pitched to Monica about one of the drinks in the Alchemy Bar on the chips. I'm definitely bringing that with me. That's coming with me. We're on the Carnival Venezia. It's what they call fun Italian style. It's a used to be a Costa ship. Costa and Carnival are the same family. They made a trade. So I'm going to bring something Italian. I'm definitely going to bring Italia from um, Captain's Choice. Brenda asked me this morning, did you buy the Wi-Fi package? <laughs> no, I do not buy the Wi-Fi package when I'm on a cruise ship. I, I kind of disconnect a little bit. So you'll probably see a video uh, Thursday when we leave with some pictures of the ship. Should be going up. See that? I got so excited I forgot which way I was going. But no. No Wi-Fi package. You'll see something from us on Thursday. Uh, you may see something on... I think it's Saturday. When we get to Bermuda. Where I'll have service. And then probably on Tuesday, because we're going to be traveling on Monday, it's going to be kind of hard to get everything together. There we go. And 
and fi figure out what else I'm going to bring. Since we're going to Bermuda, I may bring a bay of rum or a lime or something. That's one of the things I'm going to be looking for while I'm at the island. I'm going to be searching for royal lime. There's a couple places I was told I could pick it up. That's what we're going to, um, that's what I'm looking for. Mm. Oh. Uh. This was, get the ice pack out of there. Still using the ice packs because the water's warm. We've got ridiculous amounts of heat. Fresh water on the face. Grab the old Allen block. See how we did. Smooth. Not bad at all. Get over here. Nothing. Pretty much nothing. Just a little, little bit here and there. Grab the old towel, give it the old Frankie, Frankie shake. Do a little hand dry, bat, don't bat so, you know that, you all know I'm crazy. Pro tip number two, as always, don't ingest the alum. Nasty. Face is nice and dry. Hands are nice and dry. Here's the old toss. Luca, here we go. One, two, three. It's in. I think that's three in a row. That's got to be a record. Feeling John Wayne and McClintock throwing that Stetson up and catching it on the wind, the wind directional. Here we go. This is a witch hazel base. Oh man, I like that. That's nice. Hmm, that's so nice. I'm gonna put a little more on. Oh, sweet. Let's see if I can read what's on here. Ingredients, witch hazel, glycerin, it's like calendia oil, vitamin E, and essential oils. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Austin, you did a great job with this. Let's grab a little Olympiad from Barrett. Pear's pretty good. I like that. And that's our shave for today. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday for Italian Shave Day. Uh, we're going to go visit uh, the Godfather series from Vanier Lay. I'm going to keep the oath, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day. You might be doing something wrong. Always be good to yourselves and to each other. 
Have a great day. Have a great 4th of July celebration. Be safe. Be careful. We want to see you on the 5th. Ciao for now.